Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've been on here recording and it's a weird day. It's Friday, it's not even Monday, and it's just been one of those months and uh, I've not been consistent and I apologize for the inconsistency. Um, if you follow me on social media, or you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, um, you know that I haven't been very consistent with my podcast because I just, to be honest, I haven't felt very myself. I haven't very felt very authentic and I pride myself especially on this podcast. I want to be my most authentic self that I can be and I feel like if I were to record just to record it wasn't going to be my true self. So I just wanted to come on here and do this episode even though it's Friday. It's not supposed to be you know it was supposed to be last Monday. Um but my kids were going to school, I had to get them ready. And then I was having surgery in the next day. So it's been a very, very busy month and crazy, crazy week. So um, basically, I just wanted to come on here and talk about what's been going on. So, you know, I think that we've all had crappy weeks, months, or even the last year and a half. I mean, it's, we've had those days where it's just been like, man, freaking life sucks right now. Like, let's just be real. Like, life just sucks sometimes. And I've talked about this before with um, dealing with, you know, the seasons of life and things like that. And, you know, I've had a really rough season and it's not, you know, I'm very thankful. I have my family, you know, I haven't lost any loved ones, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but it doesn't mean that the crappy parts of life, um, the anxiety filled parts of life don't suck just because, you know, you're not going through the worst time of your life. I mean, there are seasons where we'll have really, really hard seasons. And then there are seasons where we're going to have these times where it just honestly just sucks and life just sucks right now. And I have gotten, I feel like, uh, finally kind of had my head right um, and in the right head space, which is why now I feel um, comfortable coming on here and recording now, because there was just three weeks or so, almost a month, where I just could not get my head straight. My anxiety was so high, and if you if you've been following me on here, um, on on my you know weekly podcast or on Instagram or. TikTok or anything, I talk about my anxiety and I talk about how I try and deal with it um, as natural as possible um, through nutrition and exercise and, uh, you know, just meditation, yoga, things like that, just the way that I have found that it helps me deal with my anxiety. And another way that I don't really talk about that much that I deal with it is just sitting back and like, you know, focusing on the good and focusing on the things that I can control and just telling myself, Teresa, you can't control everything. You can't control the world. You can't control if someone is going to get hurt. You can't control if, you know, I don't know, like your kids get sick or, you know, you lose a family member or whatever it is. You can't control it. So stop trying to control it. I'm not God. I didn't create this universe. I need to remind myself of that, that I cannot control everything. And if you have anxiety, you completely understand me. You get it, even though like, you know that there's going to be such good times in life and there's also going to be not great times in life, you still feel like you need to control everything. And I didn't realize until probably about mm, maybe five or six years ago, I'm a major control freak. And that comes from when I was a kid, um, a lot of things were out of my control. And when you're a kid, usually things are out of your control. Um, I think my situation could be a little different than some people. Um, I've talked about before that um, I grew up in a family with um, our dad was an alcoholic and there was a lot of things that we could not control. Like how he would react to something or, you know, how my parents would react to each other or, you know, things like that. Just things that as kids you wish you could control, but you can't. And I do have been doing a lot of, I guess you can call it soul searching or just 
just learning my emotions and why I'm the way I am and why I react the way I react and things like that. And I have figured out that I react in such a anxious way because I feel like, okay, everything's going good. Everything's on, you know, on track. And then when something gets off track, it's like, oh my gosh, the end of the world. Because I, in my head, I thought it was going to go a certain way and it didn't. And I do not deal well with that. I don't do very well with, um, you know, me planning a whole thing and then it just falling apart right in front of my face. And there's nothing I can do about it. I do not do well with that. And an example would be um, one of the reasons that I was kind of struggling the last um, month is because um, first, um, one of the my favorite people in the whole world um, my mentor, everything, um, we found out that, um, my grandpa has cancer and, uh, he is going to be okay. Thank God. Um, but when you hear the word cancer, you don't think good things. You think really bad things. You think that he, they're not going to make it. You think all these things. And another reason is, is because my grandma on my, on my dad's side had cancer. And even though that's not what she died from, that's what started her um, going downhill. So I don't have the best um, thought, obviously, when I hear that word. So it started with my month being like that. And then, you know, I, we all as a family, we came together and, you know, we just, we are, I feel like a pretty close and positive family and we were all just there for each other and for him and, you know, told him everything's going to be okay. And he's like the most positive person in the whole world. He's like, I'm fine. You know, I'm, I'm good. You know, the doctor said I'm going to be fine. So that gave me a little bit of relief, but it still is scary. And then after that, um, my kids ended up having COVID And that's something, obviously, I cannot control. It's everywhere. Um, We're in Arizona, and it's just spiking again. So um, I was was feeling very lucky that none of us had gotten it. Um, My husband and I, I think, got it in 2020, but we never got the test because there wasn't test results or tests for that at the time. But my kids were very lucky that um, we went through all last year, and they didn't get it well. Right before school started, um, we had about exactly two weeks, and they got it. And not only that, but um, we had to cancel our trip. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Okay, let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership, and it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. It's super easy. Download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. And it's super easy, guys. So good luck and happy podcasting. So we had to cancel our trips. And um, we had about three planned. And they were pretty big trips. So that really sucked. And again, control freak over here. Thinking that all this stuff is going to happen this way and this way only. Nothing's going to get in, you know, in the middle of it. Why I think that in the middle of a pandemic, I don't really know why. But that's just how my brain works. So if you are like me and you are a control freak and you just need things to happen the way that you want them to happen, then you completely understand me. And when things just crash and they just, you know, it's not only my kids being sick, but, you know, just everything, me losing work, my husband losing work, you know, um, then I was, obviously I had I was scheduled for surgery on Tuesday, which I did end up going. So I'm uh, recovering from surgery right now as we speak. But um, I was like, I got to cancel my surgery and I got to do all this. And, you know, I've been waiting for a really long time to have the surgery. And I finally forced myself to do it. 
along with the help of my husband and, and some, you know, family members and stuff, just, you know, reminding me that I'm important too. And, you know, my clients, I love them. I love you all, but you guys can wait. <laughs> Your hair can wait. So, um, basically, you know, just having to, you know, deal with my kids being sick and just all the things that come with it. My daughter actually fainted, um, at home because she was very dehydrated because she's almost 13 and you can try and force a 13 year old drink water all you want, but you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. So she fainted and I had to call the ambulance and go to the hospital and do all these things. And of course my anxiety takes over. And I think the worst case scenario, like COVID is taking over her body and she's going to have a seizure and all this craziness. And again, if you have anxiety, you completely understand where my head is going. And again, all these things where I just thought that everything was going to go the way I wanted to go, it was all just crashed right in front of my face. So dealing with that has really been hard for me, even though I'm very, very blessed. Don't get me wrong. I know it could be worse. I know my kids could not have recovered. I know we could have all gotten COVID and we could have all been so sick and things could always be worse. And I'm very, very thankful that they weren't. And I just, you know, I just have to remind myself of that, that, you know, things could always be worse. And it's okay to feel sad or, you know, upset or angry. Like I was angry. I was like, why is this happening? Like, you know, and then I go to like, I'm a good person. Like, why is this happening to my family? We're good people, blah, blah, blah. Bad things happen to good people all the time. And that was just my way of trying to deal with what I was going through and with my anxiety as high as it was and um, being isolated and things like that. It was just really rough. And it was just one of those things where I had to remind myself, like, you're fine your kids are alive, your kids are healthy, your husband's healthy, your family's healthy, your business is going strong, you are okay. And you sometimes you have to sit down and be like, life sucks right now. But you know what, tomorrow's going to be better. And if it's not better, the next day will be better. And I just wanted to remind you guys that especially right now, these last, God, these last year and a half has just been, God, so like, like a nightmare, you know, like turning on the news and seeing all this stuff. And I mean, multiple things happening, not just the pandemic, but everything during the pandemic. And, you know, all the stuff that's happened, like it really does feel like we're living in a whole nother world. And it's very hard to adjust to. And you have to give your guys, you have to give yourself some grace. Like if you have anxiety or you are stressed and even if you don't have anxiety if you don't have anxiety from this year you are super strong you are super super strong but you just have to remember like things are going to get better it's not going to stay like this forever and you know I have to remind myself constantly this is just a season in life that sucks right now but there are really good seasons there are really good times in life where we're going to look back and be like, that really sucked. But you know what, this makes that crappy time makes this happy time that much better. And I just feel like sometimes we need to bring our attention back to, you know, not only reality, but thinking like, positive, and I'm always talking about positive thinking and things like that. So if you've been following me for a while, I'm sure you've heard me say this before. Just really just mind being you know focusing your mind on the positives like something as small as you know having a car that runs with air conditioning especially when you live in Arizona I mean or being able to go to work every day because there's so many people without jobs right now and reminding ourselves of what we have our positive things and the good things that we have is just another way to to show ourselves life is full of ups and downs. Life is full of good seasons and bad seasons. And if you're like me and you're a Christian, I'm a pretty faithful person. I'm I am 
spiritual and I feel like 